drink. Uh, <laughs> okay, everybody, welcome to the Mayor's Day concert. Okay, today we've got David McAdam and Tony McDonald here from Extortion, and we're going to get a wee chat about uh, the future of Extortion, what's going to be happening, this and that, this and that, blah blah blah. So, we're going to start off with David. David, give us a wee chat about Extortion. Thanks, Stevie. Merry Christmas to start. Merry Christmas, my man. Thanks for my little <laughs> pool. I mean, look the size oh, of that. Anyway, Jesus yeah. Christ, I'll be flying all the way back. Oh, He's I, can't eat, I can't eat drink big cans. I can't eat <laughs> drink big cans. <laughs> hey, Stevie. Yes, David. Extortion, mate. We started following him a bit. But six months ago, eight months ago or something, uh, we just came up with the idea of making money to follow him because we have a lot of local actors. Yep. They just wanted to get involved. But once he decided what we were going to do, we contacted a few of them uh, and they were like, aye, 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 we'll jump on you, we'll jump on you, so for then it's just been building why, why, that, why that type of movie? Why that? I mean, I did, I did see you, because, I did see you in that type uh, of movie, because what made you pick it? In a good way, I hope you like that. A good, good way, way, a good, good way, a uh, good way. No, well, that type, because we've got access to a gym and basically my background, as you know, I did yeah. a lot of security and I did a lot of close protection stuff, so basically it's like bodyguards and stuff, and your film's kind of based on like a bodyguard, and it goes bad, and it comes back good type of thing. But there's a lot of fight scenes in that in it as well. Yeah. Uh, and there's obviously bad guys, and the guy sitting across from me is a very bad guy. Where about, <laughs> where about is it set? Uh, we did a filming for the fight scenes up in the Shire Boxing Club, mm -hmm. right, Mushy. We're going to be filming all over Lanarkshire, Glasgow. Sterling and Jack, like Jack Parvin's boxing right. jump, good jump. Jack Parvin's eye. Right. So we train every day and we do a lot of fights in front of you. Tony, mm. what's your part? Merry Christmas. Merry TV. Christmas, Tony. <laughs> 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 what's uh, your part? I play a lovely chappy. So he does. Very nice voice, isn't he? Quiet, <laughs> quiet, quiet and mealy mouse types. He just, just wants a quiet life, basically. Um, no, he, this character always is um, dangerous. Right. Um, he's intelligent, obviously, to get to the level of business that he's in, and um, there is confrontation between the characters. Why did you get your uh, character? What? Why did you? Did you pick your character? No, 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 no. I was asked uh, to to get mm -hmm. involved in the film, and that character was presented to me. Would you be willing to play this character? Tony's played a lot of characters. Tony's played that part quite a lot. A bit you're a bad guy. Well, I'm, a bad guy. I'm either getting killed or I'm killing. But I've right. more kills than Sean B, that's for sure. <laughs> that's good. Uh -huh. So tell us a bit about, about tell us a bit about the characters. How do you recruit somebody like that? How do you bring folk on board? Who wants to be on board with them? Well, our character, my character was quite easy. I'm not saying it's wrote round about me. Right. But when it was getting wrote, we came up with the ideas of the storyline, how uh -huh. it should go. It's called extortion because at the start of the film, it's been filmed, Stevie. The first twenty minutes has been done. Yeah. A few things to change in it as it always is, right? But first part was done. It's called extortion because it's based on two guys leaving the village. Sorry for jumping in there, but somebody said the camera's side on John Stewart. We don't know what happened there, mate. Um, <laughs> we really John. don't know what happened there. The cameras went side on John Stewart. Really sorry about that. Don't know what happened there. We followed all the rules and it just went side on. So we'll need to look like that. So leave me look like that, talk to you, John. Is that all right? Well, sorry about that. Put your phone in lock mode and then boom, turn it to the side. Paul Graham said this is going to be very interesting. Good, good, good. good. Oh. So, okay, right, I've got a few wee notes here, a few, wee, few wee things I wanted to ask you. So I'm asking you why this type of movie. Um, and you're saying, I, I definitely see that. I, I see you as that type of character. I don't see you in uh, an off scene. Well, I base myself in that kind of character. Yeah. I like them parts like that. Yeah. I've been offered different parts to do different things. I'm not comfortable doing them. So I'm comfortable doing what I, I know I'm good at and what I can provide, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And in and doing that type of road, I can, I'll, I'll deliver easy. Close protection yeah. stuff and that, and bodyguarding and surveillance stuff and that. That will all be added into this film. But it's not just based on me, it's based on everybody. Yeah. It's a storyline, you know yeah. what I mean? But it's be, at the start of the film, it's based on two. Two guys that left the military. Right. And they've come out and tried to have an easy life opening mm -hmm. a boxing gym. Tony and his crew have been running about collecting money, obviously. And they've come into my place thinking, oh, this will be easy. You have easy money. Money. So. Well, I think that's going to be getting the <laughs> second or third episode. Uh, so anybody, <laughs> <used to> <laughs> anybody that's seen the first 10 minutes will know yeah. 
what happened the first 10 minutes, but we're not showing any merit, Stevie. We used to have fundraising nights, but we right. still have fundraising nights, but we're not showing any merit of the film yep. at all. We'll, snow, we'll show wee snippets and maybe a couple of still pictures and that, but there'll not be any yep. video footage now. Is there any media involved? Do you get media involved with what's happening with the film? We've got the Wishy Press and that one involved as well. Right, they've come out I saw that, I saw that. Took it's a big storyline. That was a good uh, spread. But it's got, a, it's got a lot of publicity in a lot of places, but as I say, Wishy Press came out and that was brilliant, mate. They've done, they've done us you, great. Uh, would, would sponsors play a part in this? Can sponsors play a part? Aye. Would anybody be, would, could, could anybody come anybody in Anybody could jump on and give a horn out, mate, with the sponsoring, because we've got a few sponsors in there. I'm going to read some out later, Aye. right, so yeah. I'll give a wee mention, right? Yeah. But the sponsors are always, they think the furthest of one away is Stirling. Yep. But it's all local ones, yep. like your restaurants and your car washes, pizza mm -hmm. shops and flooring places like that. Aye, there's quite a few there, mate. And listen, the first 20 minutes has been made with them help out, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Does it cost? It does cost, mate. It mm -hmm. does cost. And I we don't find our own money in, but it's no fair, is it? So everybody puts their wee neb in and goes about getting sponsors and that. And we have fundraising nights as well. Yep. It's all used for that. And they think it's any wages out of this. It's all yep. put to the film. Why your character, Tony? Why my character? Why? That's a bit of an open question, that. Why, why, why not? Why not? <laughs> why, why yours? Why yours? Um, well, I think really there has to be one bad guy in any of these films. Right. And there's a hell of a lot more than one, uh, because I've got quite a crew together. you got a couple of man uh, bars here, so you look at that. Very <laughs> <and laughs> much. Wow. Uh, which was all... We're I'd sorry about this uh, 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 being side on about it. We don't know what happened there. But he's still watching. But sorry, don't we don't know what happened there. That's fine. Uh, I, why the carry? I, I, to be honest with you, that's how you would written. Yeah. Um, and I think that uh, the boys had actually said, right, well, we need somebody to play that character. How bad are you? Uh, pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have been worse, but I think this one's going to get worse. Oh, worse. Uh, uh, I, I, I've watched so many clips, right? But I, I'm going to say, if I'm going to guess, Tony, that yeah. I'd see he's the type of guy that, if he's looking for something after, he's going to be very nice about it. Yeah. Am I right? Is he? Yes. Am I right? Aye. I Very nice side. about it. <laughs> no, you're just going to give me... I'm still waiting for five record. grand off of him. He's playing at <laughs> it. He's coming for five grand the first time. That's months ago then. <laughs> months ago it? for five months grand. Ago. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> okay. Background. What's your background in TV? Background, well, it's saying, I mean, I was involved in acting many years ago. Uh, I gave it up after the children were born. Since they spend time with them, so I had to be sensible doing the, the normal half the go for an income, you know, week to week. Uh, and I came back into acting just back in the 2000, uh, 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, the first film coming back was actually Mia, Rapture 2.0, which uh, was incredibly successful and, and uh, basically swept the board in a lot of festivals that has gone into. Mm -hmm. uh, that was written by uh, Gary J. Hewitt, incredible writer, incredible mm -hmm. talent, also directed by him and produced by Diane Brooks. And it has has done the circuit basically, yeah. and has See, done I'd, incredibly I'd, well. I had a couple of wee things that were done in my gym by some guys, and uh, I played a couple of wee parts on it. I found it dead near brain. Uh -huh. <laughs> I I was I'm not an actor, but I I found it dead near even a wee small part. I found it really. Mm -hmm. I was so nervous, and I I couldn't. I did it, but I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? They just they just put me in there as a wee bit, just gave me a wee slot there. Uh -huh. But they were just there for the gym more than anything. No for me, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how I don't know how you remember lines. How do you remember lines? How do you eat stone there? And, people and people date line? differently. People date differently. They day they day. And see the way I was taught. I do use it sometimes, but you've got to, you've got to get your own way. You've got to get your own way. But listen, it's to being your character. If you be your character, you'll remember your lines. Yeah. Simple. Can I get into your character? Do, do, do you feel as though, say, say, say for talk, say you've got um, X amount of scenes coming up, two years, mm -hmm. do you get in character that day, or do you think a week or two weeks before it, you're in character all the time? You just think. You know, do you I'm, play that character even though you're not, not in, in front of the camera? I think you can through your lines, once, you, once you've essentially read uh, the, the, the storyline and, and you've got a feel for the character, then when you're not reading and you're thinking about lines in your head, essentially you're thinking about movement, eye movement, subtleties that you would do naturally mm -hmm. if you were in that position uh, and to slow everything down I don't know if I where possible. I don't know if I've got this word right, but the ad lib 
Is that what it's called? I think if you forget something, you can put something in. I don't know if that's the right word. Improvise. Yeah. Improvise. Yeah. Right. Aye. Aye. Can you, have, you, have you done that? Ah, you, you need to improvise if right. you forget your. It's not that it was necessarily a line. Your words or whatever mm -hmm. way you would say it. Aye, you would say it the way you want to say it. And if they're not happy with you, need you back to do it again. But it's just being yourself, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. just being yourself mm -hmm. and your character. You but need the, to bend about your character. Yeah. yeah. The keys. The keys. Not to act, basically. Aye. Yourself. So how many characters is in the movie or like other? How many is in it like other? Oh my I mean, God, how many people go apart? Well, there's, just at the start, the new, they're probably still a good, they're about 10, isn't they? Mm -hmm. Maybe 8 to 10, yeah. mm -hmm. 8 to 10 characters, yeah. And it's all the people from the area, mm -hmm. guys that come to the gym, guys who have met out in jobs. How did they feel when, when they were asked to, to, to play a part in the film? No problem, David. Just straight in there? No problem. Uh, Nervous, <laughs> I would be like, no. I would be the guy at the back of the camera. I think some folk would say different, but no, I would, I would be. No, I don't. I don't know. He's there. Well, the, whole, the, the whole idea of filming is, is is to have a laugh. If you don't have a laugh, it's yep. no fun. Mm -hmm. There's Aye. no point. No, because then it's too serious. Yep. Uh, I think if you can have a laugh, but then switch mm -hmm. when it when you have to do it, and just slip straight into character, and then you you're, you're basically eyeball and eyeball, mm -hmm. and you're yep. just doing what you need to do. But you need to look at who you're acting Aye. with. Mm -hmm. It's okay knowing your lines and thinking about how you would, you know, yep. conduct yourself. Yep. But you have to react to mm -hmm. the movements in the eye and what's being yeah. said to you from your fellow actor or actors. Bounce off each other. To how long? How long is the movie going to last? How, how long? <coughs> like a normal, the normal length of a movie. I think it will go about an hour, and twenty, an hour and a half anyway. Mm -hmm. It will. With, but with, that's with, not the end yet. Without giving anything away, um, uh, would it be a second part to it? Oh, aye. Twists and turns. Yes. You know, yeah. That's a lot of surprises uh, coming out of it. A few uh, broken noses, a few people shot. Uh-huh. Few we'll people got paid their money. We've got Scoot Tommy here and he's got, it's not that good to hear you. So I don't know if it's a case of Scoot Tommy, if they're too, or too far away for their mics there, mate. They're going further back. Um, we'll, we'll take that one more, mate. <laughs> to <Right>. Scoot Tommy. <laughs> so we've all been told that there. But aye, the twists and turns and there could be, there could, could be a second. Oh, mm -hmm. aye, well, good. We've all been David, aye. how did we get to know each other? How did we get? How did we get to grow up and know each other? Stevie, you've been a <laughs> kid boxer for years upon years. I think you've trained everybody. Wishy Mullo, Glasgow, and them. Uh, no, I was doing my wee bit at the Camus Nets and Boxing Club yeah. for years, and then just jumped about doing my own stuff with a guy from the mains who I've learnt a lot off him. I'm not mentioning his name, but I have learnt yeah. a hell of a lot off him. And they helped me grow my close protection way as mm -hmm. well, which I've learnt a hell of a lot again. Yep. And for then, I've always been Stevie Bear, Stevie Bear, Stevie Bear, Stevie Bear, Stevie Bear, Stevie Bear, You've got a good name for the area. I've, I've, I've been about for a long, long time. That, uh, yeah. can, can do it retire. Aye. But, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fossil now. Aye. I'm a fossil now. <laughs> Plus, but, Stevie, uh, it's on the streets, mate. If your name's mentioned on the streets mm -hmm. with training and different things, you know what I mean? So. You've always well mentioned on the streets of Wishy and your mains and everything. Well, the, the, the scenes that, the pictures I've been seeing Aye. are mainly in the Shire. Aye. Is it all in the Shire? No. 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 That's just for, uh, like, uh, the start of the was based in the boxing club. Right. That's when he comes in to get his, his money. That's why he's called extortion. Where else have he filmed? Well, well, one of the sponsors, we've already filmed in one of the sponsors, and we've yeah. filmed in the Pink Turban, the guy was over the moon. Mm -hmm. His wee boy's actually in it, he's called AJ in the film, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Tell so good he's, lad. He's, he's got a good wee partner. Yeah. Uh, but no, we've filmed in the Pink Turban, he's the good wee bit out of it. But that's what I'm saying, remember you said to me, what sponsors, yeah. what would the benefit out of it? Well, yeah. when the film's finished, they'll get credited on it. Mm -hmm. But then they film, you see a credit of sponsors and that, right? We'll fill them in their place, mm -hmm. which is guaranteed they'll see their places and their inside and whatever else yeah. in the place, right? But we're doing these posters and all, we're going to go doing all the sponsors yeah. with all the posters in different areas and at the boat mate will have all the sponsors' names. Mm -hmm. And every time we do some of this or go anywhere, wish you press papers anywhere, we're yeah. in the Daily Records, we're not meant to, we're done to wish you press anywhere. Yeah. We'll always mention the sponsors. Who is the main character? <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, Who's the main I, character? Well, essentially, there's really, there, I think that there's... We've got a Greg there's, over there's here, two and he's saying, good then job, Davey. Then there's Greg. three. How are you doing, Greg? All right, mate? <laughs> Sorry about the camera angle, Greg. We don't know what happened there, mate. It just seemed to go that way, and we don't know why. 
Sorry. So, uh, hi, main character. Who's in, who, who is the main character? Well, the two, well, there's actually two main characters, uh, which is Davy's character, my character, but there are other characters coming in as well uh, that, are, that are very strong and very prominent in the storyline uh, and really good, strong actors as well. But uh, not to say that we are strong, no. but, you know. No. We talk about Bayes. Hi. Yeah. We get it by. So it's mostly based on it, but used to. Mason, Essentially, mostly. Yes. Uh-huh. Tony's got his boys, I've got my boys, and a few girls as well. Right, right, let, let, let's talk about that, right? So, every time you see a crank film, right, and we're going to, we're going to jump on board here, and, yeah. and I have to say this, sorry, but I'm going to be quick drink first. <laughs> so, you watch a crank film, right, and you know, like, good fellas or whatever, this and that. I, I, I love all gangster stuff. It really, I'm the same, that's what I love. love I love all them. Love it. Then you always get. The daft woman that walks in, man. I'm not. I'm, I don't want to get torn apart here. I'm not slagging women, by the way. But you always get the woman. If you go at the scene, is, is there a woman in there where she brings something to you? Does she make you lesser than who you are, or you, Tony? Does she bring his dinner a wee bit and, and you fall for that? And no, blah, blah, blah. That, that, well, I, I, on my side, there's certainly a twist <laughs> for that with a, a woman. Yes, I have. Right. And uh, have you fallen for? But it's difficult to try and explain to you what happens because you'd be giving away one of the. Aye. Side plots right. at that okay, stage, okay. but this woman is quite prominent. In right. For the for the for the good or for the bad? For the good or the bad? Well, for her good and my bad. Right. Basically. Bad. Or do you want to reword that for her gain? <laughs> for, her, for her gain, yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> oh God. Right. Okay. We've got Graham McMullen here, and he says, "Good stuff, Stevie." He asked the guys where we can see this. Tried earlier, and it was something about Somalian pirates. Hmm. I don't know what no. that I don't know what that is, Graham. I'll uh, repost it. Who can see this trailer later. and it was something about Somalian pirate. I don't know who Somalian pirates is. Um the film is in production in it. It's in production in It's in production, right? But if anybody wants to see the first ten minutes, yep. that was just an old clip, right? Yeah. That law change, right? But if anybody wants to see the first ten minutes, it's on the extortion page. So they can follow us on Facebook. You can follow them on Facebook. And I'll accept it. I'll I'll put all your links up Aye. um on extortion. Um, you can you can follow that you can follow them for there um, join them and you'll get everything for there. So, um, tell me, the film's been made, film's been done, everything's been edited. How would you promote it? How does that happen? How does that work? We that's that's something that I've always looked at with movies. They've done it. They've they've, they've done editing. They've done this. Now. Boom. How does it go there? It's hard to get out there, but we'll get it out there. Yeah. We've got people well, on board that's got to get it out right. there. Yeah. But the bottom, I'm to God, mate, if people mm-hmm. on board, yeah. it's going to get it out there. And yeah. they'll find it hard. If it's filmed right, if it's filmed right, and all the actors do the way, the way, the way it's meant to be done, mm-hmm. and it's all produced right, it'll get there. Am I right, Tony? But, but the story, uh, say we can't really give anything away, yeah. actually, in this, because there's so much involved in it, but I think the story's strong enough and Aye. interesting enough to get the interest, possibly, mm-hmm. We don't know whether yep. it would be something that the channels would look at mm-hmm. or whether this is something that we take to the festivals yep. and put it internationally. Yep. Uh, but you, the quality of I think, uh, the finished product is the most important uh, yes, thing. <coughs> so do you do like a trailer and put the trailer out there for people to see for the movie to be made? Is that we, how it works? We maybe do another wee trailer up every time we film, but there'll no be a lot, mate. You're talking maybe six, seven seconds. If you're lucky, mm-hmm. there'll no be a lot out now because we done it to start with to get people on board and mm-hmm. that, and they're disrespecting them by the way. They've done brilliant getting on board, but it's right, but right. you can't keep showing the film all the time or yeah. there's nobody to be any good. Yeah. When the full hour and twenty is finished, then you'll see the full full yeah. lot and they've helped do that. Yeah. I know DVDs on route a lot now, right? You can get it all online, right? Mm-hmm. But well, there's a possibility you even get it on the shelf as well, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You'll get it on the shelf, you'll get downloads off it. Uh, put it this way, believe me, it will get somewhere. Well, let's talk about some of the scenes in it that you, you probably can give away. Right. Uh, as a martial arts scenes. Aye. Aye. We go to go to go to go to see me. Somebody brought the brought, get brought, the throat. brought up with brought up with Bruce Lee and <laughs> Jackie Chan. And I like to see a wee fight scene. And I like to be a martial arts oh, fight scenes. Ah, you'll see a few. You'll That's see good. a few. Who was a fight choreograph? Who who staged? Do yeah, you think Aye. staged it? Aye. I've done a few, but I see the film goes on. I want to name Mary Martin the same as Tony and just, yeah. just go one day Martin and get it done. Somebody else will probably come in and do So it. have we got Tony doing a back kick? Not a back kick, but no. a front kick. Aye. A side kick. Aye. 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 
Sorry, I've not mastered the back one yet. I've, I've been hot with a few. There's a lot of normal why she get these for you, David. Hey. There's a lot. There's a lot of guns in that, and Good. there's a lot of disarming and stuff people want to see on the telly. You know yep. what I mean? Uh, I've seen you with the sticks. Any sticks in it? I love the sticks. Well, no, we don't really know about the sticks. Yet. No, I think the sticks is great. Maybe if they walk into the gym mm -hmm. and I'm training, and I the sticks is great. I can get a couple of rattles at their face and that with the sticks. There's Alan Armit, and he's saying that extortion is on Facebook, guys. Follow the links. Great cast, great crew, and all local actors. I have loved being involved. Alan's in, Alan's in it, aye. He's yeah. had a few lines in yeah. it as well. Alan's yeah, yeah. Out, yeah. As I say, once again, everybody, Steve, we, we don't know why this is the side on. Excuse me, mate. See that Alan Armit? Yes. I just want to tell you a quick story about Alan. Can't he, he, done, for us, Alan. he went to work this morning and done four hours, and his boss phoned him up and says, What are you doing there? Because he's supposed to be half. He's half. Oh, I read that. That's right. I read that. That's right. I read that. I read that. He was half there. So, what's what's Tony? Extortion's finished. Done and dusted. What's your future? There's a few things in the pipeline. There's a couple of films that I still need to finish up. Some scenes on uh, have been rescheduled. Uh, and apart from that, just anything else that's coming up. If there's good storylines, which is the most important thing to me, is one is a storyline with the crew. Uh, if you've got that and you've got great actors, then then Aye. you should have a good experience and hopefully a, a good product at the end. Well, I know you've I know you've got I know you've got Jack Parvin's gym there, good gym, Michelle. Aye. We've got Greg Ritchie on here who runs Revolutionary Military Fitness in Glasgow, and uh, he's saying his gym's available if he's needed. Ah, I've heard to him, I've heard to him. He's uh, seen his post that on Facebook as well. He's right? he's he's, uh, he's available. I'll right, we'll keep an eye that. Yeah, Def definitely. Aye. Yep. David. Yes. Films finished, films done and dusted. What's your plans? But you're always on the go. I'm always on you're, the go. You, you never, oh, I, I think we're dead alike. <laughs> because you, you're, you're always, you're always den, 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 den. Stevie, Every time I see you, you're always den I, something. You, you're, there's no. I relaxing. think I love to pull my money in that and I love my life. Yeah. Right. So see, we were filming that. I love doing yeah. it. And I love getting the boys on board. I love meeting them up with them for even for a coffee and keep going yeah. like that and come up with different ideas. Right. Alan but, Armit said it was actually five of us. Five of us. I had double time to you imagine how hours. much he's made a fool of himself. You'll be needing that, Rod Bill. Oh, brilliant. Uh, but no, mate, so we're pl my plan, my yes. plan is to keep doing this for three years. Yep. And it will get us somewhere. Yep. You can't know date and think you're no going to. If you had to pick, um, there's Jerry McGuigan. Jerry McGuigan, I sent you a wee text earlier on there, by the way. Are you no? Are you no? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, extortion. Uh, if you, I, uh, we're going to ask us a separate questions. I'll ask you first, David. Right? If you had to pick somebody famous to be in it, who would you pick and why? Jason Stratham. I don't. I, I right. just can't <laughs> take to him. I don't think he's an an action hero. Do you know? I don't. Oh no, mate. Dig it. I don't see it. I, I, I like don't him. see it. No. And obviously. See, I, 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 I first saw him in Lock, Stock and Snatch. Oh. As an action hero, I don't get it. It's the action I like. Aye. See the way they, they fight and how yep. they... Aye. And Steven Seagal. Love Steven Seagal. That's it. I love him. Aye. Tony, who would you pick and why? Uh, probably Tom Hardy. No, I'm yeah. not a Tom Hardy no, fan. No, no, no. I, <laughs> I, I, I like would, anybody. No, I would actually no. pick Tom Hardy. Do the best film I ever saw Tom Hardy in was Bronson. Right. Okay. Oh, that was good. So, so, so that means that, that means that you enjoyed him. Aye. 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 So the thing is, he could then be equally as good, if not better, on this, couldn't he? Um, aye. Aye. Okay. David, let's go back again. What famous female actress would you pick if you to replace the last eight? So I don't know who would you pick. Female actress. Who is the? Who would be devious, mischievous? Who would you pick? I'm hopeless with names. The girl out of Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. What's her name? Angelina Jolini? Correct. Yep. Played Tomb Raider brilliant. Good and Maleficent. Yep. Like Honestly. Yes. Tony. You're going to ask me that and I'm equally as bad because names are uh, I am the same I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Who, uh, who would you pick? God, I don't know. I have no idea. If you were to ask me right, I, I, this is the, honestly, if you said to me, give me a list of actors and actresses, like, I couldn't write them down. Right. right. Uh, that, that's a difficult one because I think there's so many good actors out there. To who? narrow it down to and then I create a character you, for them. If you had one hour, who would you like to sit have a conversation with in the acting world? One hour. For, a, for conversation and advice. Does it have to be acting? Um, sorry, in the director, film screenwriter. Oh, so it's got to do with filming and television. Filming. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I was going to go for Nikola Tesla as well, but there you go. 
It's going to be, I would say, oh, well, in, in the film. <coughs> Who would I sit and have a call? Ron Howard. Aye. I, 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 I always go back to happy days. I would have a chat around. Oh, well, look at all the films. He's actually, you know, done amazing, 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 amazing. And he, and he seems like a nice guy too. But then, uh, who else? I mean, Martin Scorsese would be nice, right. wouldn't it? Do you think that was a wee bit of Stevie? Stevie you know? Yeah, because that's his last film, The Irishman. Oh, Stevie. Oh, Stevie well, let, let, let's go back to that. Who, who would you pick? Who would you sit for one hour, David? Who would you sit for one hour? I'm old school. Right. See the guy, I'm hopeless with names again, that wrote Locks of Barrels. Guy Ritchie. Correct. Brilliant. He's got a new one on it. He's got a new one on it. And take all the advice off him on your Sunday. Yep. Honestly, they're the films. That's the ones people watch. You ask them if they like them in films. See, I, I, I've always seen Guy Ritchie as a, as a, as a Tarantino. Mm -hmm. yes. End, middle, uh -huh. start. Middle, uh, end. You know, I, I quite like that. Would your film be based that way? Anything like that? Anything like middle, end, start? How does that work? No. Or is it just straight through? No, no, no. No, no, straight through. Right. No, we'll, have, we'll go to all done, we'll go to the ending and that done as well. We just can't say all the new, but it hasn't, the ending done the first I, Well, that's what was different when you come into like, you're doing a, a, a chat show or an interview and it's right, well, okay, tell us about the film and it's not been created yet. And you don't want to spoil anything. Know, they get, there, there's so I, much in it yeah. in the writing yeah. that it's difficult to give one aspect away would, would then I have know. a chain reaction on, on, on the rest How of it. How would you rate the film? 18, 12, PG? 18. 18. Yeah. So expect a bit of violence. Oh, I definitely. I mean, you couldn't have a film without any violence. Yeah, I like a bit of violence. You mentioned the Irishman there. I've sat and watched that twice. Right. Mm. No, did, did you like it, Stephen? No, I didn't like oh, it. Oh, no, I've watched it twice, mate. No, and I, I picked like up it. a few no. things with it. I didn't. Um, I, I just kept seeing Casino and Goodfellas in it all the time. Aye, aye, aye. aye. I've seen that. But they're all based around about that. I, know. I don't think uh, I don't think De Niro was tough enough in that film. No. But uh, they're all good actors, they're all good actors, they're all good no, no, no. Anybody want to give your views on that, what films that you that you think? Um, in fact, let's let's jump on this. What films would you put Tony and David in? Let's see what reply we're <laughs> going to get here. What movies would you put them in? And we don't want to hear bad things. What movies <laughs> would you put them in? What, what would you put them in? So when's the next, uh, when's the next uh, scene getting done? Uh, January. January? Be January. Right. Yeah. We'll get. We'll, we'll try and get a, a couple of rehearsals uh, in first. Aye. Got rehearsals sorted. Just to do the setup and yeah. see how we. We see we, like we the each other. We've got, they've just got a hot of the scripture. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Many of the other actors have got the scripture because we'll be getting a good read through it and everything else. Plus, obviously, so we go with the flow and see yep. what the script is when we contact them and find out if that's what they want to do. And if they don't want to do that, we'll we'll just need to move on. If you could hand your script to anybody, who would you hand it to? Who would you hand it to? There you go. Oh, I don't know, mate. Oh, just to be a a character you want to put on it. Mm -hmm. we do, we, we'll, we'll do the Lord's script. We're brand new. Do you think you'll always play a bad... Do you always play no, a bad character? No, 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 but this, I, I've, I've done a number of these right. gangster characters, right. Godfather characters, right. um, and I enjoy them. Aye. Because they're great fun. That's yeah. nothing better than being a bad guy, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with it, but no, I, I can play different characters. Can you see yourself, David, in any other type of film? Or do you feel stereotyped David, to this? That I fancied type of... the musical Chicago, did you know it? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to give a song. No, yeah. Stevie, listen, that, this is my type of film, mate. I love doing my yeah. wee bits of acting, I love my action stuff. Mm -hmm. Why change it? Why go and interrupt it? Do you know what I mean? I, I could probably turn to different things, but at the moment. Right, yeah. Tony, we've got John Stewart back on here again, and he says, Tony, Debbie does Dallas Part 2, and David and the Mitchell Brothers take you <laughs> on Albert. I knew he was going to say that. He said the East Enders. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, John. <laughs> Thanks, John. I would call that John. That's, already going, done to be, that that's going to be the most famous movie I'll tell you. Stevie, <laughs> oh, so Stevie picture this right. The try and remember this. First time I ever bumped into you, I came out in your gym like a wee selfie that way, and I left your gym, and you built and you said, "Davy, listen, you have a spitting image of somebody." Burnside. <laughs> Burnside. <laughs> Remember Burnside? Well, if I two love Burnside. Is Burnside, is Burnside double, I think. Mean. <laughs> Do absolute double. Right. Burnside, that's right. Remember that? Remember that? It was the bill, wasn't it? The bill. Burnside was the bill. Right. That's right, Burnside. 
Oh god, brilliant. <laughs> but eh, uh, aye, so you can't see yourself in no. any sort of love movie or oh, you know, romantic. You don't know because see if you were offered a part like that you would get the script to look at it and see what the script is. Yep. But at the moment I'm just happy plodding away with all the boys. Film will go, go I'll get finished, see when yep. you go for the end. It will go to number it will they will be number two. And as I say is I love these films because I can get to show my talents to what I know. Mm-hmm. My action stuff, yep. the wedding stuff. Yeah. I can take a doing as well. Yeah. So I can take on that. Yep. So then I, okay. and and I'm looking forward to that. Oh. Tony, how did you get to <laughs> how, how did you get to know David? Uh, how well, did you two meet? Essentially, actually, I think well, it wasn't through Scottish. It was a sort of Scottish screenwriters, and we'd I think we'd met a couple of times. I've uh, met a couple of times. Uh, well, can we mention some names? Yeah. I'd mentioned to- I'd met Tony in London a couple of times, right. but I didn't exactly get a blair with my then. Like, I just knew all this Tony. Actually, um, I used to train a, a woman who was an extra on Outlander. <coughs> who was that? Margaret Mitchell. Mm. Margaret, I know Margaret. Margaret yeah. Mitchell. Yeah. She was she was on it quite a few times. Uh huh. Yeah. Outlander. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know about Outlander, but um, I've not seen her for a few years. But she was. She she thoroughly enjoyed it. Margaret's a lovely, a lovely yep. lass indeed. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, in fact, I met Margaret at um, Lenny Mullen does an improv class in, in, in Glasgow yep. in Bath Street every Wednesday afternoon, um, and a lot of very very good actors come through that, mm-hmm. and it puts them on the spot, because yep. literally what you've got to do is come up with a beginning, a middle, and an end within. Ah. A couple of minutes, yep, and then perform live, right. and that keeps that, that that gives you a certain edge, mm-hmm. yeah. and builds your confidence you up. You when you're going in a light, whether it's stage or whether it's mm-hmm. film or television, you're you're going in prepared, because then you don't have to if anything goes wrong, yep. it won't go wrong yeah. because you 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 can work with it, Aye. deal well, with it. Listen, well, we're 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 going to wrap up in a wee bit here because we're only just taking ourselves on for a wee thirty minute slot here. But before I go, um. David or Tony, I'd like you to give me some details. What if, what if somebody <laughs> wanted to sponsor? How would they, how would they get involved? Well, Steve, well, how would they get if involved? anybody wants to sponsor this mate and jump on board, all they need to do is either mail me or Tony or right. like, we're on extortion pages right. and Facebook and that. My phone numbers are everywhere as well, right? right. Uh, and right. It's phone numbers are in a couple of the phone boxes uh, as well. Aye. No. <laughs> <David, laughs> I've explained earlier about what they get out the sponsoring, right? Yep. But can I mention some of the sponsors? We can, we can go for every one of them. Right. Every one of them. Some of the boys in the, that have helped out the new mate is we've got the Cam Stiff and Carpets in Canby. Yep. This is a better. Vince and McGovern, Martin Washy Main Street, yep. the lawyer. Yep. <laughs> uh, Pink Tobin. Pink Tobin. Told Good you we've we'll fil- we'll fil- filmed in there Been before. Been there a few times. Good food. Uh, Central Security Limited Scotland, that's something Sterling, that's one of my mates, yeah. very good mate, but the security under is good as mine, but he helps out, doesn't he? It does. Uh, <laughs> go for flooring, wish he? I'll yeah. create you. No, that one. And next door we get amazing pizza. Go for pizza. Brilliant. And then get your pizza. Uh, WN Decor, Paint and Decorator, you mains. I need to mention main security company, of so they help out. DMC Security and you mains. Yes. Aye. Uh, the car wash, which built, which uh, belonged to my laddies, you know, oh, yeah. that's been left to one of the boys, and he runs it now, so they help out as well. Yep. Uh, Cafe Shop Yep. I've never been in that. Aye, it's all right. Never been in it. Boofy's better than the pink tub, but I've never been in it. No. Uh, Chloe Purdy, photographer, right. Cold Bridge, ideal for all your pictures, mm-hmm. man. Photo shoots and everything. Bentley Hotel just on the road there. Bentley. I've been in the Bentley for a year. In fact, uh, the last time I was in the Bentley was with Big Archie McKay. He used to do the doors and smack bottom jacks. Uh, I don't need to mention the Shire Box. We've done it enough. Yeah, we use their place, mate, and it's yeah, yeah. brand new. Yep. Camera Centre Minor Club for all our fundraising nights. Anyone interested, please contact Camera Centre Minor Club. Yep. Uh, Camera Centre Minor Club, 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 we're really sorry about why this has went that way. We don't know what's happening like that. because I can see if it's been on the screen here, and I don't know why it's done it. And I've been in here for about a few hours, and we've been doing a lot of tests, and it's been going, it's been going great, but it's just been going upside down for there. We can appreciate that you can't say too much about no. the movie because it seems to be like giving clips and clips uh, and clips for there. Well, if you give us five grand, well, well, well. He's so, one five So <laughs> I think we're going to put it out there. What we need is there set up a, a, a no GoPro. Go, no GoPro, what do you call that? 
Go, uh, no GoPro. No, no GoPro. What do you call that? Page we we set up for for fun. Oh no, you know you don't get much of. Ah, but you know I, I can't remember the name again. Aye, can't remember the name. The funding pages in Facebook. Now we tried that. I'm saying mate. GoPro. I can't remember. Stevie, you know we call. tried that, mate. We never go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, better listen, see this film was based on people you know, yep. people in the area and well, people I, I, I hope that the man will if I'm gonna put a wee shout out there because I know a lot of business people. A lot of business people and um it's no easy for me to endorse anybody and I don't like endorsing and I'm and I don't do things for the sake of it, but I totally endorse David McCardle. Yeah. I've just got to know you, Tony, but yeah. if you're with, uh, with David it's hundred percent with me. And and I'm just hoping that some people I know that are big businesses can Go fund me, John, John Stewart. I thought he'd say something else here, but it's, it's go fund me. <laughs> so, uh, but what I'm saying is, Cheers, I'm, John. I'm hoping that they, they, they can put a wee something on board here, you know. Um, remember, things like this is all tax deductible. Yep. You know, it is tax deductible. And um, you know who I'm on, you know, you know who I'm talking about, I should say. And I'd be quite good if he jumped on board. And if you want to know any details, we could set up a wee meeting with David McAdam and Tony McDonald here. But listen, I want to thank you too for coming. This is yeah, only really the first episode yeah. today. We're going to jump back my own some stuff here. Aye, don't go back. Um, what we'll probably do is maybe, if possible, with David and Tony, is get a wee maybe interview with some of the other the cast. Ah, mm-hmm. probably. And we'll do that on, on set, if possible. Yeah. We could do that on set. Yes. And we'll come up and we'll start putting things together because we want to keep in touch with the extortions going. Aye, definitely. Um, I want to thank everybody that's been on and continue to, to back up this. As I say, I'm really annoyed that uh, it's went sideways. <laughs> uh, you can lock your phone and turn it away, but I'm sure software will put it together for there. And I've got uh, another wee thing to confess. We missed the first two minutes of the, the audio. Did you? Uh, so we'll need to do it again. Merry Christmas, David. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Tony. Oh, Merry so Christmas, we'll need to that back in. We'll need to edit oh, that back in. Listen, well, everybody, thanks for listening. This is my wee project that I'm putting together and I want guys like this to, to get everything they want out of life. It's their dream, it's their goal and they're very passionate and they put the hours in to do it and things like this cost money and it would be so good if people could, you know, come forward to David or Tony and help them out with, with what they want to do next year. But we're going to be coming back on this one after the new year. I'm going to be interviewing some more staff and... Uh, We'll be doing that on set. All right, guys. Thank you. Cheers, Trip. Thank you.